<laughs> Hello, and welcome to Tier Fun. I am Andrew, your guide through modern, and uh, that's enough of that nonsense. Uh, uh, today, I've got a deck for you that I have called um, the Tier Fun Pile. Uh, um, in honor, or yeah, I guess in honor of the Legacy Deck Check Pile. Um, um, it's essentially a four color stuff list. Um, I, uh, I've been wanting to, I've been, you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know, I've been wanting, Search for Us Cant has been a card I've been, I've been testing out and, um, I kind of put it on the back burner because I didn't want to overdo it. And, uh, I kind of felt like I had done almost as much as I could think of at the time without, um, um, building a deck that I wouldn't necessarily play, uh, right off the top. Because I like to play decks that either run Blood Moon or aren't dead to Blood Moon. And this deck is kind of dead to Blood Moon. Um, it's essentially a Grixis deck, Splashing White for Lingering Souls, Secure the Waste, Crackling Doom, and Johnny Vengeance. Um, I don't... I think Fatal Push is acceptable enough that we don't need to run Path. Um... But anyways, uh, the reason I'm I'm adding white um, is not necessarily because for these spells, though I do want to test these spells. It's um, because I'm playing Death Shadow, and um, that's I've kind of jammed together Death Shadow with um, some of my previous search decks, I suppose, uh, and kind of Frankenstein's monstered that a little bit into something that I honestly have no idea if it's going to be good or bad. Um, I think all these cards have a place in modern, and they're all powerful cards, except for maybe the old claim to fame. But you know, I gotta have some spice. I can't resist the spice. Uh, the spice must flow in some way, shape, or form. Um, if Crackling Doom wasn't spicy enough for you. Um, but yeah, and Johnny Vengeance for that matter. But yeah, the Tier Fun Pile is all about um, being efficient, essentially. Um, we have. A boatload of ways to uh, shock ourselves into Death Shadow being good. Um, we have Thought Scours for these anglers. Um, I'm not running more than two, just because I th I'm not confident that just four Thought Scours and our deck is going to be enough to support it. Um, we don't have um, uh, any that. Uh, um, ugh. This always happens to me. It's always a card I've been thinking about before talking and recording, and then I space on it. But um, the the cycler that um, the creature that cycles for free for two life. Um, we're not running them, so I didn't. I wasn't comfortable going more than two. It, these might just be better off as Tassigers. We'll see. Um, it also might be because we're just running six um, four power creatures that stubborn denial is not going to be turned on enough. But I wanted to run some counter magic, and I felt like Stubborn Denial... I, I, I think Stubborn Denial is quite powerful, so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, but yeah, we have... Uh, we have uh, Planeswalkers can be found by Search. Uh, Lingering Souls, Secure the Wastes. We have, like, the quote-unquote end-the-game package to be found from Search. Um, and the rest of it's just value or dealing with threats. Um... The sideboard is, um, um, in, <laughs> it's a bit of a pile as well. Um, we've got the fourth denial in case we want it. Uh, ceremonious rejection because I think the Tron decks are going to be a bit of a whooping for us. Um, collective brutality to give us, oh, to give us a, just a card for burn. Um, also Death Shadow is pretty decent against burn as long as we fetch semi-responsibly um just having a big ass clock that they can't really interact with pre-board um it burns a bad matchup for grixis and it's uh even worse for uh i think death shadow and i mean when we're playing grixis white or jeskai black however you want to go with it um burn's gonna be an issue so i wanted to run at least one card for burn it could be that we just want to punt it um Another card I've been wanting to run recently has been Ravenous Trap, just for um, the old uh, tier fun pile. Just for the old um, dredge, it's been cropping back up again, and it's also it's all right against uh, Gifts Ungiven. You can cast it after a Gifts resolves, 
and uh, that's usually pretty good. Then we have engineer explosives, pretty great if we can make four mana. And uh, anger and is it for uh, sweeper sweeper situations? Um, oof. What a hand, right? Five land pyro push. I think we can mulligan this. They kept seven. Yeah, we're on the draw. Let's mulligan. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Ah. Oh. Does land on top though, right? No, I'm not that ballsy. Um, sure. Yeah, that'll give us something. Um, this one, well, it's burned, so it's gonna be over quickly, anyways. But I was thinking it was gonna be over quickly even before I saw it was burned. We're gonna do our best. Um, this is gonna get the uh, an island. And uh, just hope to draw into removal. It turns out that first hand probably would have been all right. Um, I mean, push lines up with Swift Spear for sure. Maybe it wouldn't have been all right. Oof. Well, let's see what the old burn has for us. Oh, interesting. Carplusion Forest. Maybe this isn't... A your grandfather's burn deck. This could be your grandpappy's grandpappy's burn deck. Carplusion Forest, at least during... It, it spiked a lot during the Eldrazi winter period, because um, red-green Eldrazi was a thing. So this could be... This could just be someone who doesn't want to fork out for fetches, but I, I, I have to assume those aren't that expensive these days. We'll see. We'll try to survive long enough to see if there's any shenanigans. That'll be our game plan. Um, whoop. Oh, man. I've played this deck. I've tested this deck a few times now. Um, and the amount of times I've milled my one of Secure the Waste is through the roof. So the jig is essentially up here, which is unfortunate. So three cards in hand. We can shock here and block with a snapcaster or we can opt looking for a removal spell. I think I like opting for a bolt. Uh, nope. And double nope. Well, that lets us fetch kind of painlessly. We can get a white source here, I think. Yeah, sacred foundry. Maybe get that lingering souls into play next turn. And maybe we're not just straight up D-E-D. -E -D, dead, dead, dead. Huh. This is not the matchup I wanted to start with. Mossy. Mossy's getting us. Another bolt. Okay. We're essentially dead here. I'm, I have that feeling. All right, well, they didn't have another one mana spell. They wanted to play Rift Bolt. Okay, yeah, we are dead. Um, so this just looks like burn. Um, I want to, oh yeah, that was some, we're dead anyways, but we wanted obviously to get, what I was doing there with that fetch is I wanted to maybe make them think about Lightning Helix, but really that does absolutely nothing. It's Gurmag wouldn't have been wouldn't have saved the day there, but maybe a turn before. All right, well that was horrendous, but uh, we have a sideboard for this situation. Um, I assume we want the other stubborn denial just to do something. Um, is a chance we want engineered explosives? I'm not sure. Thoughtseize is probably a non-starter. Um, Johnny Vengeance is going to be good. Scare the Waste seems kind of medium. Um, we definitely... I don't think we want to be grinding, so... I think Search is probably on the chopping block as well. Though we could just run it back like this. I think Crackling Doom and Terminate are, well, maybe not terminate. 
But I think Crackling Doom is a bit overkill. Lingering Souls is great at blocking if they have a creature heavy hand, heavy draw. We definitely, I think we do want the, the Stubborn Denial. We can at least tax their mana. And Burn tends to tap out. Um, this is a removal spell as well. I guess we want to probably stay there. <sighs> Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. Great at powering out Death Shadow. Great at killing us. I think if I had anything else I was excited about, I would side it out. Like, would I rather have Doom? I think I'd rather have Thoughtseize. Keeping this Secure the Wastes and Search. Yeah, this is a horrendous matchup for the pile. But maybe we have an early Death Shadow. Okay, this is the kind of hand that can win. Maybe, it's, maybe the matchup ain't so bad, am I right? The fact that we have the Basic Swamp is great, too. Um, so I'm going to lead on Thoughtseize. We can get a uh, creature or f four power burn spell, like uh, Boris Charm. Though they didn't show white, I always kind of assume they're running it. Let's just, let's see what's happening. Interesting. So we don't care too much about this relic. I think we just take a Tarkus command. Roast. So they're on a bit of a brew, I believe. Or they're just zoo. Um, we can grow this out of roast range before we play it. So let's just take a Tarkus command. This bolt lines up well with that, uh, that ape. Oh, I love Thoughtseize. All right, so they played the Heath. I love that Thoughtseize keeps track of stuff for you. They're going to play the Kurt Ape. And their hand is Relic Roast. Oh, oh, Relic Roast. Um, not yet, but, but soon. Um, I'm just going to bolt this now. Um, we're going to shock ourselves to do it. Not the end of the world. Um, what do we want? Steam Vents or Sacred Foundry? This can get Island. So I guess Sacred Foundry is fine. We don't want to give them any time to draw mutagenic growth or something, some other shenanigans. If they have it, I'd much rather them use it on our turn. Um, I kind of think that they're going to just jam the relic here. Yeah, just to have something to do with their mana. And then we will be subjected to the worst card in Magic Online, Relic of Progenitus Activations. Um, getting the roast doesn't seem all that important. I suppose we can go down to 12. Oh, no, this seems this seems much better. So we're going to do all of the... We're not going to do all of the above. Let's see if we get Basic Island here. Let them power out. They have Roast, Roast and an Unknown. I think I'm okay taking a bit more damage here. Because we could get, we can always gain two life if necessary. Yeah, let's do that. Um, play search, and make them roast us on their turn. I kind of like that. It's interesting that they have roast in. I don't think we showed. Maybe we did mill. I think the only creatures we showed them were um, token producers from stuff that we thought scoured. So now they got a burn of roast on a 1-1 uh, death shadow. And we'll save this, this bad boy for later. And if they don't burn the roast, we get to just snag it. But I'd much rather get a burn spell with this than something like Roast. Especially because we have Search, we are very much um, playing for the long game here. Well, uh, probably the mid-long game. The long game still, like, the burn player will eventually dry out of it. 
Um, we give ourselves as juicy of a graveyard as possible. Gotta have that juice. That juicy, juicy yard. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh. I guess I'm okay with denial. It's not that good right now, though, right? What else can we get? Three, four, five, six. It does put us one turn closer. Yeah, let's let's subbin the denial. Oh, great. So we can Snapcaster Thoughtseize here. Also Snapcaster Bolt or Snapcaster... No, we can't Snap Denial. So we know their hand is... We know nothing from their hand. So let's see. Yeah, I'm okay with this. It take We take two more damage, have this Death Shadow come out. We could bolt them, but I think I'd rather just see what is up, fam. A Tarkus Command is, I think, objectively the scariest card. Yeah. They can cast it, right? Yeah. All right. Let's let them Rift Bolt if they want. Rift Bolt. Assuming they're going to pop this relic now. No. Nope. Double Rift Bolt. Okay. Well, let's get rid of the shadow. All right. Well, this brutality is now bad. Kind of want to draw a snap. No, I want to draw another denial, I suppose. Where's Snapcaster? 3-6 puts us to 4. Hmm. I think this is close. If we had another island, I definitely wouldn't bin it. No, I think I'm going to keep it and just snap both them. I'm kind of thinking here that if we want a Brutality, now is essentially the turn. Well, we could also play a Death Shadow, and they have to burn two bolts at it, but I think I'd rather them charge up our Death Shadow here. And then we just win on the following turn. So it'll be interesting to see if they're good. Yeah, they're doming us, okay. So, I don't think there's a red-green burn spell that deals four damage. So, I think we have a turn, at least. Um, get rid of the denial. I probably should have done that. Yeah, I should have done that in a different order, right? Because <laughs> now they get a chance to pop the relic. It does mean that they can't play a two mana burn spell. Okay. Well, I really hope we draw freaking stubborn denial. Arid Mesa, yeah, I'll put that in the yard. Cannot cast it. Okay, well. We can go to three and be dead to any burn spell, or hmm, or we can play Death Shadow and win next turn. I think, I think that's the line. So if they rip a burn spell, they win, but if they don't, we win. Stubborn Denial would have been such a good draw. Alright, come on. Fingers crossed out there. Yes! No, wait. No! <laughs> uh, I got excited because I forgot I forgot they drew. That's unfortunate. Yep. Well, um, I don't hate the way we played. Um, maybe the line was never to throw away that 
that death shadow i think yeah i think that's that was the that was the that was the turn that did me in i should have tried to brutality away the roast but alas but alas i am but a pleb at least playing like one yeah, because if, uh, if we brutality away their roast rather than using the death shadow to bait it out and saving our brutality for later, like, this is this should be one of our best cards in the matchup and we just chose not to cast it. That can't be right. Like, if we brutality away their roast and this death shadow ends up being bigger later, and we probably shouldn't have been the stubborn denial. Uh, I mean that that may be more of a defensible thing, but uh, the um, the collective brutality should have been cast um, at minimum. But that's not going to be especially there were dispels in the sideboard for that matchup, but I decided it was just going to be bad regardless. So I uh, hedged against different matchups, which I think get a whole lot better than three dispels would make like this could be a dispel but i think i think i'm fine with it being a stubborn denial I'm kind of, i'm kind of just testing to see how good stubborn denial is with just six delve creatures and so far so far it's been good oh man that was unfortunate unfortunate the um one of the reasons most people splash white is uh, there's actually some good life gain and um, sideboard cards. The only real sideboard card we're using is Stony Silence, and life gain is kind of a nombo with Death Shadow. So Johnny's Vengeance is a little bit. A Johnny Vengeance is a little bit. But as you saw, like there are times where um, having access to a little life gain main deck is um, can be pretty great, especially when it's also removal. Um a Johnny's plus one though is really what I'm all about. Is just taxing our man, our opponent. Um, I, they're either their creatures or their resources. Um, and if we need, like, if we're behind and we don't have a Death Shadow, then a Johnny's minus two is a really good way to catch up. I really like a Johnny. I think I think he's underplayed um, a Johnny Vengeance in modern. But that being said, here he's also really good. So. I, I won't begrudge anyone who thinks we should probably be playing Nihiri over a Johnny. I'm really just, I'm playing a Johnny for, um, just to remind people it's a card. Um, one of the things I like doing besides playing cards that have kind of fallen off the um, the map, um, well, I, it's actually, that's actually what I was going to say, but besides doing that, I like, um, I don't just like playing it because they've fallen off the map. I like reminding brewers out there um that they still exist and they're viable options in modern um it's good it's good for me the more the more cards you play the bigger your um your knowledge is of the format and uh the bigger your knowledge is you know the the more accurately you can assess board states or maybe predict what's going to happen to you or potential bad things you know um ends up the bigger your 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 own personal library is of cards that you've used um that's for me that's always been the best way for me to um fully understand a card's impact is to use it um and if you've used a card you can better play against it um like i i uh before i got into modern um i you know i watched a lot of stuff like like you do like like we all do we watch a lot of stuff on youtube or twitch or whatever and, um, you know, you'll end up, you'll gravitate naturally towards a deck that you think is, looks powerful or fun. Uh, for me, that was affinity to start with. I think I might've told the story once on, on camera before, uh, maybe a different part of it. And I just, you know, you see people like vomiting out their hand and like putting so much power onto the field so early. And it's just like an overwhelming domination that, that's I, that's what I remember the first time I saw Affinity. I was like, wow. And it's kind of got redundancies. And, like, you can draw a card. You can have one mana draw twos. Like, wow, how does this deck ever get beaten? And then, you know, that's your first impression. But then you start, you watch it more, and you see, like, oh, okay, well, that's how a deck gets beaten. Um, you know, stuff like Stony Silence and what have you. But even then, like, once you've 
If you've never piloted Affinity, I highly recommend if you know someone who has the deck to try it. Because however scary it is to you um, sitting across the table from it, it is almost equally as scary for the pilot uh, just on those first seven cards, right? Every time before I draw my first seven, I'm like, uh, is this it? Am I going to get to play Magic? Uh, do I have an explosive enough hand? Do I, can I keep? Like, it's a, it's a deck you got to mulligan with. And, you know, like with any deck, like, when, once you're piloting it, the more you pilot it, the more comfortable you are and the more you um, can see your way through... Um, unfortunate hands but like you kind of realize that it doesn't take all that much interaction to put affinity off its game and um the best way for me to to have realized that was to pilot it and uh i think that's i think that's the best way to learn um anything is to do it yourself especially magic so long story short um i like playing cards to remind myself and others uh what they do and potentially how to play against them better um, now that it's been kind of a long wait, I kind of got to thinking, like, Batterskull is an artifact, and I think, yeah, this, um, search can find Batterskull, so maybe I want Batterskull. Batterskull is also a bit of a nombo with Death Shadow. Oh, it's tough. All right, well, the game started, but I think... Think of Batter Skull wouldn't be too bad. Like Batter Skull plus our token strategy. I'm kind of talking myself into that. Um one lander double thought scour fatal push bolt. We kind of have to decide which of these I think we are keeping this. We have to decide. Uh, we're obviously fetching a blue source. We have to decide if we want to fetch a black, blue black, or blue red, or even blue white. But I think, I th think we're gonna just try to draw the white naturally. All right, we're up against the old T Ron, and by that I mean Tron. Ooh, 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 ooh. okay. Um, let's see, blue black. Uh, red, white, blue, black, red, white. Yeah, that works. I have to, I'm not 100% used to, like, a three-color deck, I can see my way through the mana base pretty easily. Uh, I haven't played many four-color decks in my time, so apologies if I'm perhaps going a little slow on which lands I want to play. All right, what do we got revealed? Tower, of course. And there it is. So we might be facing down turn three Tron. Joy of Joys. Just hope to get a... Uh, okay, Thought Seize. That's pretty good. Um, Sure. Let's see what's up. Thought Seize. I have, it's been a whole... It's been a hot minute since I've played a discard deck versus Tron. And this this is about to feel great, I imagine. Yep, they have Tron. Um, they also have infinite things to do with it, Jesus. Um, so Karn, we're not going to give them a permanent to minus. I think we're just going to... This is gross. So I guess we just take the Karn and hope to rip something to deal with this Ugin. Not good though. Not good at all. Guys, we might be in the middle of a back to back face stomping. So I'm hoping they play the a lightning bolt essentially here. <clears throat> Cause I'm going to fatal push a ballista. Um, the question is, do I wait or not? Um, I think we still, I think, I think we go for something here. We could get Blood Crypt, but I think we need Sacred Foundry. 
Both these bolts are going to be our only way to deal with Ugin. So we're just going to untap. All right. So we really needed to rip a land there. Double bolt would have done it. Triple bolt obviously does it. We'll see. If we rip a land next turn, I think we're all right. For this Ugin. But I mean, it's Tron. We're so they're going to plus. So nine. We'll get them down to six. And if we rip a land, we have weathered the initial storm. Land. No. Well, let's thought scour ourselves for land. Boom! We did it. We are now officially down to five. But it's it's all been worth it. We beat Tron. We definitely beat Tron here, guys. This is how you beat Tron. Um you three for one yourself, one for one yourself with a thought No, no, we didn't beat Tron. We didn't. I thought we beat Tron. No, we never beat Tron. Um, I think Search is not a thick card we can play currently. Uh, Ostone, great. Um, so <laughs> even my my plan of mediocre one one beats uh, is not going to be good. So they're gonna get to restart the game unless we draw like a Snapcaster. Uh, let's get rid of this crackling DM. I suppose I could have got rid of that lightning. Um, yeah, I should have. I should have kept the crackling DM. So they're gonna crack the O stone, I assume. No. Okay. Okay. Um. So they're gonna dome us again. Yeah. I can only hope that they minus three. If they minus three, we have a chance. Interesting. Okay, so they were just wanting to not get lingering souls just again. Oh no! Right, 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 right. The old O stone game. I kind of. I always forget that O stone messes up with their permanents because usually, yeah, lingering souls. Usually, when someone pops an O stone, I'm just dead. I mean, we're essentially dead here, right? Mm. Um, I guess we can just do it this way. Hmm. The minus Karn here, it's not the worst. Okay. Um, we're just, we're spinning our wheels. We're like, we're putting up the best fight we can, but we are 100% losing to this Karn. Yep. Redirect, please, and thank you. We'll concede to literally anything revealed. Ulamog. Okay, we're dead. Right? Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Okay, so uh, Tier Fun Pile is uh, getting getting demolished, but we are going to keep at it. These three cards seem good. Um, Stony Silence could be good. Yeah, the fact that they had Ballistas, I think, makes it worth it. So these are the cards I'm thinking about. Um, we don't really have to worry about that kind of value, I don't think. Well, maybe we do for an O-Stone. Yeah, but we're not. We're, we have a game plan for O-Stone. Um, Fatal Push seems about as bad as it can get. Um, is there anything else? Maybe we do want the, the other Stubborn Denial as well. 
Let's say we do. Um, then what are we ridding ourselves of? Lightning bolt. Terminate. Hmm. Terminates. All right. I guess we keep it in for um, worm coil. Mm, dismember, terminate. I guess we'll keep that in. Stubborn denial isn't phenomenal. In fact, I think we're gonna trim them um, for our harder counters, and I think we're gonna run it back like this. I think that that looks good. Okay. Scare the waste could be good. We'll find out. It's been relatively underwhelming for me so far, though. Um, I think we have better hands than this. Wow. I think we keep it. We we're we're a blue source away from something good. But if we don't draw it, maybe this is a mulligan. I just really, 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 really don't want to go down to um to five. Oh, gross. All right, but maybe I should have max punished. Hmm. Well, they're gonna have turn three Tron where we've missed we missed a land. Okay, well. We have Ceremonious Rejection. We're back in it. Went from so far out of it, couldn't even see it, to back in it. This Lightning Bolt. Ooh, Forest. Interesting. Sylvan Scrying. Um, wow, I kind of wish we had just um, jammed that search now. So they must not have something in hand. Which makes me want to play a one one that can't be right, right? Um, yeah, let's get through this. Looking for land, not that. Looking for land. All right, so we can thought seize and hold up ceremonious rejection, or we can play search and then reject the first big thing they play next turn. All right. The long con it is. You know, search might end up actually just be too slow for this matchup. Maybe we should, maybe we'd rather have denials. Seven, eight. Oh, world breaker. Well, I'm actually really glad we played that. Because it gives me my lands at least. Um, so World Breaker is going to be a pain in my ass to get rid of. Because they can just sacrifice a land and return it to their hand for three mana. And once they start accruing more Tron pieces, that's going to be pretty easy. Okay. That's a good draw. Um, I'm going to Thought Seize them. Hopefully, they don't, hopefully World Breaker was their best play and that's why they went with it instead of they went with it because it was the most redundant play okay thought not seer we'll take thought not i'm okay grinding through a thrag tusk could also take sylvan scrying but i think we just scrying essentially lets them world breaker again um because they have three four five six seven eight nine they could get rid of three they have, well I don't think they're going to do that. Hmm. This is tough, actually. Maybe we don't care about Thought Knots here because we have Opt and Secure the Wastes. They're probably going to take the Bolt. Huh. What would you guys do? I think Scrying essentially says they're getting back World Breaker. Now, they could just draw another Tron piece and they're getting World Breaker anyways. So maybe we'll just take the card I know to be good. 
get rid of that mesa. Get out of your mesa. I didn't like you. I won't serve you to my family. So it looks like they're going for the world breaker line. No, they're going for um, scrying into world breaker. That's what I'm assuming. World breaker is something that you wish you had path for. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I I felt like they're they're almost as favored to just draw another Tron land or a way to get a Tron land. And that thought not seer is annoying enough that we want to get rid of it. But it, maybe it was correct just to just to get rid of the Sylvan Scrying. Oh, Sanctum of Ugin. Yeah, it was definitely correct to get the Scrying. Now they can just uh, return it and go get something even scarier. Um, well, we can opt into an answer. Mr. Anforce, get out of there. You don't belong. Hmm. It's not looking good. Back-to-back, -back, not looking good matches. Perhaps the pile is a pile. Hmm. Unfortunate. But we, should, we should soldier on. Just trying to fade Tron doing Tron things. You know? That's all. Oh. Oh. I don't know why it took them so long to realize that line of play. So they got Sanctum of Ugin. Um, I think we can opt here. I mean, I could have secured the waste for three, but that's not doing much. Um, Bolt, also not doing much. Searcher Ascanta, also not doing much. Um, yeah, I think we'll we'll see what they get, but um pretty sure that is game well, let's see what they reveal. Another Ulamog? Sure. So they can just keep getting us. Alright, 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 alright. Pile getting piled, I see. I see. I had such visions of grandeur for this deck. Perhaps they're still out there. It's a dangerous game getting right back into the queues, especially after you just got stomped, because uh, it's pretty easy just to come back in and click right back on it. But I don't think we have a horrendous Tron matchup. Um, it's just that those draws were very not good, and we did mulligan. Um, I guess this is a keeper. Mm. Magic card passes. So we're gonna thought scour. Um, probably getting just a steam vents. Um, no. Hmm. I think I should have let on misty. Does this burn again? Lol. Okay. Um, could be just as dead to dredge. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We're dredged. All right. Um, I guess I get blue black, and then that gets green something. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, our game plan is blocking with this young pyromancer and the tokens. Ooh, lingering soul is a good get. Forever. Um. Let's get. The mount, the not the mountain, the old swamp. Um, we can draw. Oh, we do have a death shadow. I didn't see that we drew that. Um, 
Death Shadow is going to be good here, and so is Gurmag Angler. Of course, you know, there's Conflagrate. It just went in the bin. Or perhaps it was there the whole time, and I'm just not noticing it. So, okay, Bloodcast. I think my game plan next turn <clears throat> is to play this Lingering Souls and uh, Death Shadow. Could be correct to, actually, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to Lingering Souls and uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can't, Grimag. That's what I was wanting to do. Ooh. Ooh, if they're just conflagrating here, I am a-okay with that. Hmm. Sure. Okay, so now we can also Lingering Souls and um, Death Shadow. And I do believe we do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. Um, Garmag Angler. Uh, I want to play Death Shadow with Stubborn Denial back up. Um, looks like we cannot do that because my other red source is, or black source is Blood Grip. So, in that case, let's get a Hollowed Fountain so we can have Stubborn Denial up and pass the turn. So, yep. Case of the old not knowing your deck well enough. Necromoeba. It's not the scariest down there. I guess they have another Conflagrate. Or did they cast that Conflagrate from hand? We'll block. Well. No, I won't block. I'm just going to play Death Shadow next turn. I'm okay going down to seven. We're going to counter this um, loam. Hopefully draw land. If we draw land, we're actually going to Johnny Vengeance. Oh, it's not a loam. Oh, we can get that for sure. That feels great. Okay, another Death Shadow. Um, options here, Snapcaster, Stubborn Denial. Ah, let's just play Death Shadow. Um, I think we're cool to attack. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so they have Amalgam, Neonate, Neonate. Um, they can deal four damage with Conflagrate right now. <clears throat> so that's good. Uh, might as well block. Well, no, no reason to, right? We're going to hold up Snapcaster for the Conflagrate. So they're going to loam here. No, and then we're just dead, aren't we? Yeah, what bad play. Let's see if they go for it. They do have to go for it. Okay, they don't. It's good for us. Um, yep, can't do anything but attack. Okay. Dark blast there. Sure, nothing we can really do. Okay, if they have two conflagrates, we're dead, but otherwise we're okay. Might as well attack. Or if they have lightning bolt. So conflagrate getting us.
And then Snapcaster Stubborn Denial. Whew. Dredge seems like not the best matchup either. Though the Delve creatures and the Death Shadow really do help. And the sideboard. If we can get game one, I feel pretty confident about game two. Um, I think we just let this resolve. Because they have another land in hand. I would love to counter it, but... Okay, sweet. Sweet. So they're going to... No, they don't go for the... Is Conflagrate an instant? No. Weird. Um, Can't play anything because we have to <coughs> not die to Conflagrate. So I'm just going to attack for 10 here. If I had a way to rid ourselves of a um, of a couple of life, I mean, if I could if I could bolt myself for three and survive right now, sure, that's fine. Dark blast me, bro. Interesting that they didn't dark blast the spirit. All right, well we're dead to blood gas and only blood gas here. Uh, well, I guess Bloodgast and a Conflagrate on the Spirit. Oh, unfortunate. Hmm, let's see what they do. If they conflagrate first, we're fine. Well, I guess we're fine either way, right? Because the spirit isn't going away. <clears throat> All right, there's the blood ghast. There's all the prized amalgam triggers that aren't going to matter. Interesting. So they let us go to... So they don't try to clear my blocker. And I'm assuming they're conflagrating. And we've got them. Uh, let's find out. Stubborn denial. Stubbornly deny that. GG. Do we get it? Do we steal it? Do you have another conflagrate? <laughs> Please cast it. <laughs> I'm literally dying from suspense. I mean, I suppose we can just have six here, not we can do. Alright, these come back tapped, so they need a lightning bolt. Looks like we got it. Alright. Uh, always had it, never didn't have it. Haunted dead? Oh! How insane is that? Did not see the... Oh, no, 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 no! No! Fatal push! Ah, oh, that's brutal. Yeah, now we're just dead. Wow. That's bonkers, dude. That's bonkers! Alright, well, we're gonna win these next two games, and that won't matter. Um, let's rid ourselves of Thoughtseize. Um, I think we're okay with the removal. Um, they're decent road bumps, at a minimum. 
Um, I don't think we need that. Stubborn denial is fine. I suppose we can go down on it though. We're really on this plan. Um, I think maybe we don't need to terminate. Oh, well, we definitely want anger. I guess Stubborn Denial was fine in that game. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll shave a push. I think push is fine. Man, yeah, so we had that game locked up, but I once again mercilessly, mercilessly threw it away. Okay, um, well, we'll keep this. We don't have a clock, but we have card selection. I sure do love me some card selection. Um, no reason to fetch here. Um, okay, now we will. Reason to wait was we might have drawn a land. Um, so we definitely want blue, probably blue black, because that's all our hand is currently. Looking for a land. Death Shadow's good, though. But not right now. Land. Oh, please. Worth. My hand's so good. Is it possible to just ask real nicely to trade these Stubborn Denials? Like, Judge, um, Stubborn Denial, please be land. Just trade them out. I'd, I'd be fine with that trade. Land. How bad is this? Land. Gotta have it. Got it. Always had it. Never didn't have it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's... Um, well, we can't, can we? I don't think we have a green-black. So, we, instead, we play the waiting game. So, if I'd gotten red-black with Scalding Tarn... Yeah, this mana base could use some work. Bonus is um, they're going incredibly slowly. Um, just hard cast against Ink Weed him, sure. Um, Hollowed Fountain, or I guess we'll take the Steam Vents for the Snapcaster and the Lightning Bolt. Of course, there's Secure the Ways. And Johnny Vengeant. Neat. Neato. Um, I actually don't want to get rid of that. Um, but we do want to delve away this graveyard. Uh, Death Shadow. Thought Scour. Thought Scour. Boom. So Stinkweed Imp is an annoyance but we could potentially use it to our favor to get them to fill up their graveyard for ravenous trap with ravenous trap interesting haunted dead sure <clears throat> So they're just going to play a fair game. Can attack. Um, okay with that. Let's just keep on scouring. Oh my god! I swear to god I put lands in this deck. Um, what's this dredge? Five. So we can just get their graveyard. I'm okay with that. No, we haven't triggered a vault. Almost, almost got me, Magic. Um, I think we'll get rid of secure. The reason being, a Johnny, I believe, is better in this situation. Attack him with the one one, sure. I 
and the Haunted Dead. I'm actually okay with them. What's it? It says discard two cards, return it tapped. So I think I'm okay with that. Now we'll, we'll let this first one slide. Ideally, I want to set up a situation where I can get both Stinkweed Imp um, and Haunted Dead in the graveyard and also Neonate. <clears throat> Fetch land. What did I do? What did I do to deserve this cruel fate? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Can't even attack in now, Neonate. Look at all of our game plans. This is exactly this is exactly what we wanted to do. Hmm. So I will block the haunted dead now. Will I? No, let's block the neonate. They're just going to sacrifice it anyways. How many times in your life can you double Gurmag block a Neonate, right? You kind of have to take that. When you <clears throat> discard Prize Amalgam and um, let's see if they have anything else. Ooh, Faith is looting. I might have to pop this Ravager's Trap. I suppose I could have countered it. Okay, great. We don't have to. So we get to get the second half. Oh, how annoying is that? Very. Okay. Man, this sucks. Like, okay, so we can attack and a trigger revolt. I guess that's what we do. This feels horrendous, though. Yep. So then let's push this one. And then bolt this. And then Ravenous Trap for zero. Um, hopefully that's enough for us to get back in this game. Pulse, okay. All right, all right. Death Shadow will do here. So we got a decent bit of their goodies and they know we have ravenous trap which means ugh, come on come on with this why so many stink <laughs> uh yep um opt we have more bolts than pushes i believe Um, sure, that's not bad, actually. Does this need to be cast from hand? No, it doesn't. Can't attack. Not favorable enough. They just get back there, stink we didn't. I guess we could do it with the trigger on this. Nah, because the trigger has to resolve. The bonus is there's only one more stink we did bes imp besides this one. Let's see if they attack. Alright, sweet. So now if we rip a land, Johnny can just keep this one tapped. Lamp. 
not a land. So nine, okay. Okay, cannot stubbornly deny that. I can go to one, that doesn't seem great. But I do get to get rid of their stuff. Well, it's one versus two, essentially. Uh, I'm thinking about angering here. Getting angry. And I think either way we were dead. Let's get the other blood crypt. Like, if we're dead on one, we're dead on two. Is my thinking. What is it? Wow. Their hand was baller. And we're dead. Oh, man. Well, what an absolute ranching tonight was. <laughs> so maybe the world is not quite ready for the tier fun pile. Uh, <laughs> um... I will say in my testing leading up to this, um, it did not perform that bad in the slightest. Um, it was actually pretty good. Um, but I knew, like, basically all three of these matchups were matchups I thought would, would be a problem. And um, it's just kind of hilarious that uh, that we uh, ran into it, ran into all three of them. Um I think at minimum we should have gotten to game three against, uh, well, yeah, we obviously should have got to game three against um, Dredge, but uh, we um, punted pretty badly with that fatal push. Um, I think we played game two pretty well considering our mana in situations, but yeah, yeah, this was a bit of a clunker, but... You know, that's what happens when you test new decks. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So if you have an idea like this in your head, um, perhaps put it back on the drawing board. Uh, I don't want to say I don't want to say the deck was bad, but we did. I don't want to be too results oriented. We did get our face absolutely stomped. Um, they were bad matchups. I played crappy against Dredge. I think, I think, I think, uh, I think, I think you, I think I got, <laughs> I need to brood this more. I need to think about this some more. So, like, I have Death Shadow in the deck to kind of help us against, um, to kind of, as a payoff for having a crappy mana base, um, as a payoff to play these white cards. But I don't think these white cards really do enough. And we're just kind of, uh, not great Death Shadows deck with, you know, I think Secure the Waste is probably good. Lingering Souls probably is too. I don't necessarily think we need Crackling Doom. And a Johnny Vengeance probably just, you know, I think we're probably good just with those two cards. And maybe we, we turn we turn these into the fourth path, or push, sorry. Um, we could put this in the sideboard, but... Even just this looks a whole lot better to me. Uh, like, Crackling Doom is good, and there are certainly metagames where it's phenomenal. Um, it's not great against any of those things we played against tonight, but um, maybe it is. You know, maybe I will bring back Crackle. And maybe we want Batter Skull and to go down on Death Shadows. That could be a thing, too. The thing is, and maybe this is what it actually is, is that I went down on cantrips without going up too much on lands before. I mean, there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot of things. This is this is the tier fun pile, uh, <laughs> and uh, it played like a pile tonight. But um, this isn't the last you've seen this deck. I am gonna try to make it work, and uh, yeah.
Um, maybe tomorrow. Maybe maybe the next couple days. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry I got dominated. Uh, that happens in Magic sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back the next day with something else. Um, as always, I'm Andrew signing off. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Yeah. And thanks everyone for watching. I'll catch you around. Bye now. Bye.